this is something to keep an eye out for if you're into uh, British Army manuals and handbooks of the Second World War. This is the July 1940 edition of the German Army in Pictures. Um, HMSO kind of handbook intended for issue to platoon commanders etc etc not the the general private soldier issue but to platoon officers and commanders to identify um, possible German positions and uniforms etc etc it's an unusual handbook in that there's hardly any text in it it's all told with um, photographs not photographs captured by the British but photographs which were culled from German propaganda sources by the British and reprinted as this book. It was updated um, every year of the war. It was published right throughout the war. And it takes the form of this 30-page uh, document. As with most of these things, the staples are rusty, which means that if you're going to examine one, make sure it's all there. Um, because rusty staples, pages can fall out. It takes the format of a typical World War II military document. German army in pictures. Notes. The purpose of this pamphlet is to give all ranks an idea of the appearance of the German soldier and his armament. It has been issued down to platoon etc commanders. July 1940 and there is a contents page and the contents page it's very very basic uniforms parachute troops tank personnel field service dress motorcyclist troops armored cars armored fighting vehicles like medium heavy tanks small arms anti-tank infantry support weapons rifle carbine machine pistol LMG HMG dual purpose MG, 2 inch mortar, 3 inch mortar, anti-tank rifle, anti-tank gun, 2 cm AA gun, 7.5 cm infantry gun, 15 cm infantry gun, artillery, 10.5 cm gun howitzer, 10 cm field gun, 15 cm field gun, miscellaneous, raft for crossing rivers, rivers, and inflatable boat. So it sounds impressive, but it's only a photographic guide. So all of, most of the photographs are kind of that way on so we'll turn it around and this is parachute troops showing special type of steel helmet and overall worn over the uniform so it's just a, a basic guide it, it doesn't go into any comprehensive details and then parachute troops with MG on heavy tripod mounting Tank personnel, note, colour, black cap, jacket and trousers, short, double-breasted jacket. And that's all they give you to identify tank troops. Let me carry on. And this one says, field service dress, jacket, grey-green, trousers, dark grey. Stick hand grenades usually carried stuck in belt. So it looks as though the person who's written the text has just looked at the photographs and he's just stating the obvious. And this one shows motorcyclist troops of an armoured division. Note, in foreground motorcycle, machine gun company, in background motorcycle, rifle companies, all pattern HMG shown. Then we have armoured cars. Super light with one LMG, light with one LMG and one machine pistol, medium six wheel with one LMG, one two centimeter AA, and that tank gun and one machine pistol. All round field of fire if not fitted with wireless. And then this is a heavy eight wheeled armoured car. Note, one LMG and one 2cm AA and anti-tank gun. Revolving turret allows all-round field of fire. T-34 
two man light tank type 1 5.7 tons note two lmgs in revolving turret armor bases 40 millimeter light commander's tank 5.7 tons note one lmg armor bases 40 millimeters Light amphibious tank 6.2 tons. Note one or two LMGs all round field of fire. T and HP light tank X check 8.5 tons, being raised to 12.5 tons. Note one 37 mm gun, two LMGs, armor basis 25 mm, raised to 50 mm. Light tank type 2, 9 tons. Note, 120mm HMG, water LMG. CKD V8H medi light medium tank X check, 16.5 tons. Note, 1 47mm gun, 2 LMGs. Light medium tank type 3, 18 tons, 137mm gun, 2 LMGs. Medium tank type 4, 22 tons, 175mm gun, 2 LMGs. Heavy tank type 5, 6, not 175mm or 105mm gun. 147mm gun. Then we have a rudimentary look at the rifle G98. Carbines as well. Schmeiser machine pistol MP38. Very inaccurate, over 200 yards apparently. LMG, MG15, or MG13, obsolescent. O8 HMG, obsolescent. Machine gun 34, dual purpose weapon. Very rapid rate of fire. 5 centimeter mortar. Eight point one centimeter mortar, two centimeter anti tank rifle, three point seven centimeter anti tank gun, two centimeter AA gun, not also used as anti tank gun, seven point five centimeter infantry gun. 7.5 centimeter infantry gun new model fifteen centimeter heavy infantry gun ten point five centimeter gun howitzer note this is the normal field artillery weapon ten centimeter field gun note this is a medium artillery weapon 15 centimeter field gun. Note this is a medium artillery weapon. And then finally, ferrying in an anti tank gun detachment across a river by raft. Small inflatable boats used for crossing rivers. So that was basically all the British Army had to go on about the German Army in July 1940. Very, very basic. But it was updated with each year of the war that went by. But that's all they had in July 1940. The German army in pictures.